I'd like to tell you a little bit about the DJ equipment I have here. And uh, actually, it starts back here with a Line 6 uh, guitar amp, uh, which I use for my guitar. And I play right along uh, with both my XDJ, my Pioneer DJ. Uh, they're, the decks they have here are... Um, totally operated uh, you know, with uh, digital data. So it comes out of USB uh, that you can actually drive the data in here and go right into your uh, uh, laptop if you want or use a, uh, a regular thumb drive to put your data in there. And uh, you know, from the data that comes out of the uh, XDJ decks, I've got the uh, uh, Pioneer is a top of the line uh, mixer that they have. And it's the uh, DJM 900, uh, <laughs> I gotta look at, this, at what it is myself, the DX2. Uh, this is, is, is an absolutely outstanding deck. Um, I'm not so much of a, you know, what is the name of this and what, are the, what is the name of the gear? Because I, once I get the gear, you know, I finish searching for it. I'm trying to figure out how to use it. And there are so many cool things you can do with these decks. In fact, um, I'll give you an example. Uh, this is coming out of Ableton Live. I still have nine on here, though. I'm get about ready to upgrade to Ableton 10. And uh, the you know volume control comes in here. But the the sweet thing about a deck like this, you can add in all kinds of dub sounds to it, and you have a number of different effects that allow you to change it on the fly, giving it sounds. And so uh, this is also controllable right here by the uh, Ableton Push 2, where I can you know, change the uh, level of the sounds right on the fly as a, a manual control of each and every uh, loop that I have within here. Um, the sound that I have is actually coming out of a, um, a uh, original piece of music that I created here. It's a combination of commercially purchased loops and things that I actually played. Now, a couple of different things that I do when I'm playing is I'm going to, uh, you know, have you know either uh, you know something live that's going to come off of like the TR1 here, um, which has some great great sounds, or even have a, uh, a complete controller by uh, Native Instruments, which uh, is great for um, you know playing the uh, the sounds that are on here for the Native Instrument sounds. And right here, I have the Novation. Uh, launch key, which drives things also directly into the uh, Ableton Live, allowing me to not only um, give good recorded music that you see like up on this area right here, but I can also do that live. And so it's a, it's a it's somewhat sophisticated setup, but it's certainly a lot more than most DJs have. But I use this both with DJ Jack Sun, which is kind of the commercial end of things, and Metrograde, which is a, a particular dance kind of music that has a world sound. I have both of those things. In fact, you can find, if you look for the Prophet Metrograde on Spotify or Pandora or iHeart, yeah, go ahead and listen to it and download it. It's a good song. Doesn't cost you a penny to listen to it. So go to Spotify and find uh, the Prophet Metrograde, and you'll see the picture of a soldier come up. So it's, it's a very interesting picture, but it fits the music. You'll see why when you listen to the music. Listen carefully to what's going on in the words and the soundtrack that's uh, behind it. A uh, very much of the world sound like you hear on this piece.